Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to read Excel worksheet with SQL queries. If I search for SQL, there are three types of actions. There will be open SQL connection, execute and close connection. So in this case, the first step what we'll do is we will need to connect to our Excel form. So if you are not sure what is the value here, you can search for run SQL queries on Excel files. So over here, below here, they will provide you the following properties. So you can just copy this and paste it here. Or what you can do, we can click on build connection string. I will select Microsoft Office 12.0 and I will select next. After that, the data source will be my Excel file path. So I will copy as path and I paste it here. Just leave the double quote here. And then, of course, my Excel does not have any password. So I will remove this to blank and I enable the option blank password. Next, I will go to advanced and I allow the permission for read and read write. And I go to all over here. There are there is extended properties which I am supposed to input Excel 12.0 XML HDR yes and I put it here and then once done I will just click OK and it will populate for me a connection string. Okay, so from here I do not want to hard code my file path here. So what I can do I create a variable and I copy my path here Excel file path and I paste it afterwards from here I will just remove this and replace it as my variable Okay, once done, it will produce a variable called SQL connection. And then when I want to use the execute connection, I'll need to provide the SQL connection. Okay, I can either choose the connection string or the SQL connection variable. So from here, right, the SQL statement, if I look for execute, to retrieve all the contents of a spreadsheet, you can use the following values, which is select staff asterisk from sheet with a dollar sign. Okay, and then this one will be my sheet name. And the verbal produce is query result, which will be in the form of a data table with rows and columns. Once I click save, and the next step, I need to close connection. And let's try to run. If I look at my query result, I'm able to read my Excel worksheet in just a split of a second. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.